Famed author Robert Frost once said, fences make the best neighbors. But several homeowners in Delaware told me the tallest fence in the world wouldn't help them. They decided to call me when they felt a nearby industry was causing the earth to move under their feet. I felt the blast. It shook me to the point where I grabbed the counter because I was losing my balance. Kathy Trotter and her Delaware neighbors all say it feels like objects in their homes are about to fall when a blast goes through their neighborhood. They point to an industry just a few miles away, National Lime and Stone. In 1903, the National Lime and Stone Company was founded on one of the largest, purest, and most easily accessible limestone deposits in the world. This plant was in operation long before this neighborhood existed. Well, and you can see the crack that runs across the driveway here and some rather significant breakage here. Most of the driveways here have cracks and they're shifting. This resident just replaced his driveway after large surface cracks developed. During these blasts, it rattles our windows in our home, uh, offsets pictures in the home. Uh, so I have to imagine that there's a considerable amount of damage that's being caused over the long term. Each person here shares the same concerns, so they've organized. So I think we're all in agreement that we would at least like to see them limit uh, the intensity of the blasts. The neighbors have taken their complaints to National Lime and Stone, and the operators say they are blasting within legal limits set by the Bureau of Mines. Now, the standard maximum limit is less than 133 decibels and ground vibrations less than one inch per second. According to the company, a seismograph report from a blast in early June indicated it was at 126 decibels. That's below the allowable limit. Since June, neighbors tell me the blasts are not as intense and sometimes hardly felt. I spoke with Dan Mapes from the National Lime and Stone Company. He says the plant has the same blasting schedule as they continue to monitor the blasting noise levels. Well, how long should the neighbors expect the blasting to continue? I asked that question to Dan Mapes of National Lime and Stone. He says conservatively, between the next 50 and 100 years. It's impossible to estimate just how much stone is there in the quarry. They'll continue to quarry that mine. Of course, Colleen, they were there about 100 years ago. Right, so since they were there, does the bil builder have any liability here? Because they have their due diligence requirements before they build a neighborhood. Exactly. The company, the quarry rather, is blasting within the federal limits. That's where the neighbors need to ask the questions to the builder and who approved those permits. How much was put into that work before they decided to break stone on that new neighborhood? That's a question you always need to ask. If you have an issue in your community, give me a call toll free 1 855 44 JAXON. Leave me a message or hit me up on bettercalljackson.com or on a Facebook page. I think